Okay, so let's talk about lenders tax the tribute node management, like making passes, making P modifier, move around, copy and paste, whatnot. Okay, so let's make a make let's make some passes. Click the add pass and you either pop up pass naming dialog type A comma B comma C comma D. Yes, you can add multiple pass at once using comma as a separator. Okay. So I made the four passes and I select B and C, press tab. Okay, now you can make a P modifiers. So let's add camera and frame range. Again, you can add multiple items at once, press enter. So I added camera and frame range P modifier for B and C. So as you can see in render text tree view, a lot of things you can select multiple and run at the same time. It shouldn't, it doesn't have to be one by one. So now I open pass A and base. As you can see, you didn't add anything to A, but there's a two piece, same type P modifier in pass A with the green color, which means base P modifier. So in the lender stacks, your each passes will have either local P modifier or base P modifier. So it can, do same type of action for each passes all the time. Base P modifier green uh, have a green color also always have a prefix base underscore the P modifier type and also here the parameter window the right underneath of the rollout there is like a bar with green that means this is a base P modifier if it's a blue or selection color, that means it's a local P modifier. Now, if I select both P modifier in B and drag to A, now we move the P modifier. Because we moved both P modifier from B to A, since B doesn't have any P modifier left, it gets base P modifier. You, uh, you can just drag and drop to move around P modifier between passes. Let's move to C again. Okay, now there was a two P modifier, but it turns to black, which means it's a disabled P modifier. It will, it will not be used. But the P modi two P modifier we drag into is there. So why this automatically become disabled? Because in render stacks, P modifier execution happen from top to bottom. So even though this P modifier executed, this one P modifier will be executed again, and this will override that. Render stacks dynamically show what would be the final outcome uh, visually in real time. You can actually disable P modifier. Man, like manually too. So if you right click, there's a disable P modifier, P modifier, P is a toggle. So let's disable it. Now camera six, six, six become active or be, it, it becomes like a, it, it becomes not disabled automatically because you disable this and this never manually disabled. So it shows that, okay, now this pass will use this camera P modifier. But what if I disable this also manually using P? Press P. Okay, now I disable both manually, then you don't have local P modifier that's active. It will use base P modifier. If I active one of them again, P. So now the base P motivator is gone. This the render stack tribute will show you what this pass would do in real time visually. Now I select both P modifier and press shift, holding shift and drag to B. Okay, Sh holding shift while dragging drop is instancing. So as you see your camera 001, camera 001 is instanced. So if I rename that P modifier, so you can rename here in notes section, 
like a max P, max modifier stack or you can double click the p modifier and rename it so let's say i rename to new so as you see both p modifier name will be renamed because this is the same instance p modifier and here you can see wait a minute the, somehow i want to move camera over frame range for whatever reason then you can just move around within same pass to reorder the order of p modifier so that's what you can do so here let's say if i move down to here and activate it then you will use this camera instead of this instance camera and as your like a uh, setup grows like uh, this candy really becomes long and long and long then okay i know the concept of base p modifier and i know what is in base so i don't want to see all the base p modifier in the past i just want to see uh, whatever i local i have in each passes then here tribute display you can turn off show base p modifiers then it will only show the base like local p modifiers so as you can see the a is getting all the p modifier from base so it doesn't have anything so you can turn on and off this or so if you see all the base p mod show all the base p modifiers or the why why do you need to see this maybe you can turn off show base deeper then you will see all only pass and p modifiers so that's how you can control some of the item in here to rename passes you cannot double click because double click is reserved for expand and collapse so here is a button to rename passes so you can change the name of passes you can change it here the path tribute has a right click menu so it depends on which where you are like uh, it, what you selected is if it does pass it will show the command per pass and for the p modifier it will show the command per p modifier and c for the collapse or and e for the expand or so that's the basics of lenders text the uh, tribute management functionality thank you